Hey yo, we're back with another one. The last video that you guys saw, I was cleaning the rotors on this RX-7, which was uh, weeks ago now, or maybe like even a month ago now. But pretty much I already cleaned all the parts. <laughs> The rotors are clean, the housings are clean, the plates are clean, everything is cleaned up. So now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna port the plates. So I've, I've actually heard that the S5-6 ports don't like to idle when they're ported. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a half bridge port. So just to give you guys a somewhat of a visual, that means that the middle plate so there's a, a plate here and another plate on this side, which I have on the bench. The middle plate, I'm gonna leave stock, like unported, no bridge port. And the end plates, I'm gonna bridge port. So hopefully I'll be able to idle on the stock ECU. I don't wanna get an aftermarket ECU with this naturally aspirated motor because I don't wanna, uh, ultimately I'm not trying to push a whole lot of horsepower with this naturally aspirated motor, I'm gonna eventually swap it to a turbo motor. And then when I do that, that's when I'm gonna get an aftermarket ECU and push more horsepower. For now, I just wanna bridge port it so I get the brap braps. And cause the, the motor that's in the RX-7 right now, it's actually smoking a lot to the point where I feel like, <coughs> like it's not gonna, it'll run and stuff, but <coughs> But I feel like it's getting to the point where it's just smoking too much that if I drive it around and the cop sees me, it's gonna he's gonna pull me over and then I don't know what. Some some it's gonna cause some issues. I've never bridge ported the end plate, but uh, let's see how it goes. So the reason why this motor is called the six port, it's because it has the one, two, intake. Three intake hole, four intake hole, and then five and six intake hole. So yeah, I actually bought a, a template from Mazatrix. Let me show you guys. So this here is what they call the bridge port. So you see how these holes are stuck? It pretty much adds these. Just like that but i'm gonna put some paint or something on this and then scribe it and then i'm gonna proceed to drill the holes and stuff so let's see how this goes look i got the secret sauce right here layout fluid this stuff is like ink And then I got the dowel pins, one right here, one right here. Now I pretty much just scratch where the bridge port is gonna go. Now with the template out and it's scribed, you guys can see where it's marked. That's pretty much what I'm gonna cut out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill hole. I'm gonna make punch. I'm gonna punch the the plate. Like try to center it as good as I can, and then drill holes. I'm kind of scared to full send this thing because if I fuck this up, then this motor is pretty much scrapped. The only reason I'm, I'm rebuilding it is because this was a spare motor that came with the car that had some blown coolant rings. <clears throat> but if I fuck this up, I'm just gonna scrap the whole thing cause, or maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, so there it is. You can see the marks. 
So now I'm gonna punch holes and then dremel that out. So I have a punch right here. I'm pretty much gonna try to get as centered as I can. Oh, shit's already slipping. Butterfingers. So what I'm doing is I'm punching holes so I can drill it and then dremel it. Otherwise dremeling it, it's gonna be hard to like keep it stable. At least that's, that's what I've heard online. So see how it's looking? Not too bad. This one's a little off, but that's okay. It's gonna all open up. Now this is the scary part. I think I'm gonna start off with a small drill bit. This is the smallest bit I have. Mm, what I should do is I should tape the area that I don't want to scratch up. All right, y'all look, I roughly taped it up just in case the drill slips and it catches here, it doesn't scratch it up, scratch the surface. But yeah, all right, I'm gonna get to drilling that now. It seems to be drilling pretty easily. Damn, my drill bit broke. That a bitch. <clears throat> well, my little drill bit broke. So I'm gonna have to step it up a little bit. All right, let me see if that one, the one with the broken drill bit. broke this bit all right y'all look so far I drilled holes where I wanted except that one where the bit broke but that's not a big deal because I'm still gonna dremel it anyways so I might enlarge these holes and then let's see if we dremel them I mean I drilled them even more you can see that they're getting close to the line I think I'm gonna go one more step up Or maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, nah. All right, y'all, look. So I'm gonna use this, uh, like, deeper tool. And I'm gonna put it in the hole. And it's gonna go zzzz. Hopefully. I'm not sure if that's how it's gonna go, but that's how I'm hoping it's gonna go. Just gotta send it, mate. Just gotta send it. check it out so I finished porting one of the slots it's not the prettiest for sure <coughs> but uh, <coughs> I'm gonna clean it up and stuff I'm gonna file it uh, and then I'm gonna sand it down making sure it's all smooth I'm gonna sand it I'm gonna sand it down with one of those like uh, Dremel sanders I don't know what they're called I'm gonna clean it up with this with these pretty much when it comes to that so I'm gonna finish the other one some other day and then um, I'll show you guys the final result of one plate all right y'all check it out so I finished the I think what's the hard part of it which is actually piercing through the plate so you can see that needs a lot of cleanup this one too 
but for the most part it's there look so if we put the template at first so at first i thought maybe i went too close right here but it seems like we're okay because if i go ahead and get the template and i put it down it still falls within the edge right there the GoPro doesn't do too good with close-ups, but this one, you can see, still part of the edges. So what I'm going to do now is pretty much I'm just going to clean this out so it's not beveled in. I'm going to file it down and file these down as well, the sharp edges. And then I'm going to show you guys. So. I'm going to file it down with these Harbor Freight files that I got a while ago. Now this is how it's looking. Pretty clean. So what I did is, after using this sharp deeper, I went with this more curved deeper, not as sharp. And then I just went in and cleaned it out. And then I used these, the sander cone shaped sander and I cleaned it out and then I also file I ended up filing the edges so it's nice and smooth right here so nothing can get cat can catch on it and also I used the sander to also sand the edges so it's nice and smooth to the finger you can't feel it at all like other than the hole itself the finger doesn't catch anything so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean out the paint and see how it looks. I mean, I think I'm pretty happy how this came out. Like if I put the template there, it's really not bad at all for my first time. Look, there's still some space I can grind out more, but that's okay. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just the template to give me a rough uh, position to place those ports. And I think I have plenty of space still here. There's plenty of a lip so the o-ring can still sit in the groove and it won't leak. This is how it came out. Looks pretty good for my first time. So this first one I could definitely tell that it's a little more rough than this second one that I did. But it was my very, very first time ever doing it, so... But it's still really good, actually. And so let me show you guys what the other one looks like, just to compare. So look, this is how the stock one looks. No bridges, no eyebrows. And then this is how the bridge port one looks like. Boom. 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 Yep, so I'm pretty much going to do the same thing to this other end plate. Alright y'all, check it out. The other end plate is now bridge ported. So both end plates are now bridge ported. Uh, here, I'll show you guys. This is one of them. This one actually came out pretty good. And then this is the other one. This one didn't come out as good, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you can kind of see where the side seal rides through. As long as the port doesn't touch the side seal. And there's still enough uh, distance between the bridge port and the o-ring slot. That I won't have issue sealing. So that's all good. Now this is I guess officially the bridge port that is done. This is officially like the done half bridge port for a six port uh, rotary. And so now it actually came, this template, the bridge port template came with the hole on this side, right there. So that is called the street port for the middle plate. So that one would go right here, I think. It would open up this small hole right here. So it would open it up by that much. 
And I think I'm not going to do that <coughs> because that opens it up a lot. I don't have an aftermarket ECU to compensate for the additional air that's going to go in. And so I'm going to leave just the main ports as they are. And the middle plate, I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't want to have to then <coughs> somehow get it to run on the stock ECU. It would be Mickey Mouse. I would have to put probably some bigger injectors and the fuel pressure regulator, some aftermarket one to get it to idle, I think, or even run decent in general. So I'm going to hold off on that. But I think one thing that I am going to do is the housings here, the aluminum housings. The exhaust hole has this like piece and supposedly according to the forums, it's like a silencer. But I'm gonna probably do that next video. Uh, I think I might port those, I don't know. We'll see. I heard it's a really hard material so we'll see how hard it really is and ha i have not seen videos about it so it would be a, <coughs> a good video i guess all right boys this thing is slowly coming together i'll catch you guys on the next one <coughs>